Hello and welcome guys. Thank you for joining me again for another night of live. Also, I want to thank those who catch the replay from YouTube and or SoundCloud. I am your host and Trisha Bray Smith, author, educator, and public speaker. I am the voice for those who suffer in silence. It is indeed a blessing to be here with you tonight. As tonight, we're talking about trusting your own process. Trust your own process. So as you guys are logging on with me tonight, let me go ahead and do a little housekeeping here. If you have not already had an opportunity to visit our online store, take time out to visit our online store, Babes Tees. There you will see apparel uh, that is motivational and inspiration because we know the importance of keeping those things that uh, matter to you in front of you. So that's what that apparel is for. Also, guys, every um, purchase, the profits from those purchases go to support our education programs at CWF Organization. So any purchase you make there is greatly appreciated, and those proceeds support a wonderful cause in our community. If you have not already been to my YouTube channel and subscribe, now is a good time to click the link. Go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Uh, also, all the uh, lives that we do are uploaded right to YouTube, so you can stream those from your cell phones and other electronic devices on demand. Last but not least, uh, if you haven't already followed me on Amazon, go, go ahead to Amazon and follow me. This is the month of September. It is the month of my birth. And so this month I have a sale on all of my uh, paperback books. So you can get any one of my paperback books uh, for as low as $5. So I marked those books down as low as I could so that you could uh, not only get a good product at a good value, but also you can grab all of them uh, pretty much for the price of what one would have been. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that as well. Uh, also, my website is www.antrishabraysmith.weebly.com. Again, my website is www.antrishabraysmith.weebly.com. Feel free to go to my website and uh, check out any books and resources and uh, courses that I have available for you there. That website is updated often and so I do try to keep it current with the things that I have going on. Nonetheless, as you guys are joining me tonight, uh, go ahead and send uh, a shout out. Let me know that you're here. I'm hoping that the audio is doing well tonight. Uh, let me know if you can hear me or not. I have been having trouble with this audio and um, we don't know the reasons behind that. But I've had to make some adjustments here and there with that. So I'm hoping that you can hear me well uh, because I see uh, someone out there is on and connected me, with me right now. So uh, nonetheless, uh, trust your own process, guys. And, and this is what I'm here to talk to you about. Go ahead and like and share this video. Like and share this video so that others on your timeline can uh, join in the discussion as well. Uh, it's very important. Because, um, you know, uh, sometimes we depend so much on affirmations and confirmations and uh, acceptance from other people that if we don't trust our own process, sometimes we will we'll find ourselves in a place of confusion. We'll uh, find our place in uh, ourselves in a place of inferiority. We'll find our place, ourselves in a place of uh, being intimidated. So we, we talked already about those I factors, those I factors, those things that just does not belong in this next level of our life. So uh, guys, I want you to uh, understand that the process for me may not be necessarily the process for you. And so this is going to uh, look like any number of things. It will be easy for me to sit here and tell you to do this this way, do that this way, and it has to look like this, it has to be like that, because that's the way it worked for me. 
Okay, but we cannot discount that there is no one size fit all formula when it comes to doing business or when it comes to living your life or when it comes to how far you're going to get down the road. You know, we each have a uh, our own experiences. We, we each have our own uh, process that we must go through. There's been things that I've overcome that other people are still struggling with. There are things that I'm struggling with that other people are still trying to overcome. But at the end of the day, all that matters is that we're pressing toward what we believe is the path and the direction for our life. So that's just something we have to understand. We can't get so consumed by the critics. We can't be so consumed by uh, the naysayers. We can't be so consumed about how someone else thinks we ought to do things that we lose track or we lose sight of what it is that we have been instructed to do for such a time as this. And so guys, it is just so imperative that you understand that uh, when you're on the front line, when you're in the public's eye, when you are on your road to your greatness, when you are on the path of your process and living out your purpose and what that looks like for you, um, there's always going to be somebody on the sideline that has an opinion. There's always going to be somebody on the sideline that can tell you how to do it better. There's always going to be uh, the critics there uh, along the way. And guys, we cannot get sidetracked with that. If it's helpful for you, take it in. And if it's not, You've heard me say on this platform before, grow duck skin and just let it roll off your back. We have got to stay focused on our own process and whatever that is that it looks like for you. Because I can't say. All I can provide for you is an opinion. All I can give you is just some encouragement along the way. I can't tell you what that looks like for you in your life and your path and the direction that you're headed. So I see some of you joining me. Go ahead and like and share this video. Go ahead and send me a shout out. Let me know that you're there. Uh, nevertheless, guys, trust the process. Trust your own process. And, and that's what's important. So many times we're looking for other people to tell us every little thing to do and how to do it. When are we going to stand on our own two feet? When are we going to uh, take risks? When are we going to um, take the advice and apply it only where it's needed and where it's necessary? Simple as that. We, we talk all the time how who we are impacts what we do. And, and that is one thing that I try my best to work on uh, continuously. Because I know as a person, as a person who uh, has many flaws and has um, uh, many, many issues that I have to deal with with me, I know who I am and I know how it impacts what I do. So that's something that I have to constantly be aware of, constantly uh, work on, and constantly try to improve. Does that happen overnight? It does not happen overnight. And, and that's one of the things that has so many of us frustrated. That's one of the reasons why many of us have just given up on our business. That is one of the reasons why many of us don't show up. And we're inconsistent. And we are throw something out there and just hope and pray that we get a bite. One thing about me in my process if I've learned nothing else, I've learned to keep pressing through. No matter what it looks like, I have to keep pressing through. Now, I've had such a day-to-day -to, -day to where there's been a lot of things good in my day-to-day, -day, but there's also been a lot of things that have pulled on me on my day, in my day-to-day -day that emotionally has caused uh, some uh, emotional roller coasters uh, inside inside struggles, internal struggles today. So it was a struggle tonight to press through and show up here at 10 o'clock. I would have loved to have an, 
to have used an excuse as to uh, why I didn't show up tonight or um, why I don't plan on showing up for uh, the remainder of September or why I don't plan up plan on ever showing up here on Facebook Live again. You know, I, I, I could use an excuse. I, to, to, today has been one of those days to where I could easily throw in the towel and say, um, what's the use? But there's something in me throughout the process of my life that has built a um, relentless, uh, a, a lying, a dog mentality in me that I just don't give up that easy. It's, it's hard for me to trust my process and trust what I know I've been through and trust what I know the vision is showing me that I'm going it's, it's hard for me to uh, make excuses and still be true to myself. It, it's just hard to do that. It, it's hard for me to manipulate myself. It's hard for me to um, sit and feel sorry for myself. So, so I don't do that. So even if I'm a minute late, even if I'm uh, five minutes late, I do what I have to do to show up and I don't have show up I show up giving you a hundred percent every time I sit here hey Tina how are you baby I, I give you my all and so and so trust your process whatever that is for you you know what and I and, and I think that so many of us get discouraged because it doesn't happen uh, when we think it ought to happen but did you know that uh, King David, when he was anointed to be king, he didn't just take the throne <laughs> at the same time he was anointed? There was years later down the line that that happened. Joseph, who had the dreams, who, who knew that he was destined and bound for greatness, it, it did not happen overnight. He went through some things before he was uh, set in charge. So guys, we have to trust our own process. We have to. We can't go in comparing. We can't go in uh, trying to manipulate and abuse the process. We have to trust our own process for whatever it is that it looks like for our life. So that is my message for you tonight. I'm hoping that where up wherever you are and whatever it is that you're dealing with tonight as you're listening to my voice that you get that second wind you get that second wind in you and if you uh stopped or if you slowed down or if you've fallen by the wayside i'm telling you to get back in the race i'm telling you to stop looking for affirmations and confirmations from everybody else stop listening to your critics stop um Worrying about somebody else to come in to affirm you and trust the process as it looks like for you in your own way. I am your host and Tricia Bray Smith, author, educator, and public speaker. I'll see you right back here again tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Good night, everybody.